One of our ships saw you. Six miles away in the dark, we saw you. How? By radar. Electrical pulses transmitted with the speed of light. In World War II, the advancement of radar helped the Allies win the war. Major Bill Everett was one of the electrical engineers who made this possible. His experience during the war, working around the clock alongside other scientists, forever changed his view of engineering. He brought this vision with him when he became Dean of the College of Engineering at the University of Illinois. In that role, he was the one that brought people like him, who had served in the war, uh, innovating, because the war was won not only through sheer force, but through very creative advances in technology. And he was one of the first proponents of allowing students from the get-go to become involved in what he called the creative part of engineering. The EE department old professors were out of it. They knew about motors and stuff like that and transformers. They knew very little about electronics. It was those young fellows that had been on sophisticated ships, ground radar. They were the ones that had a lot more energy, a lot more exposure to modern stuff. And Bill Everett always felt that we had to be the best. Everett knew that to make Illinois the best, he had to hire the best. One of those people was John Bardeen, the inventor of the revolutionary transistor. Now we have the chance to get a real big hitter. That changed my life and a whole bunch of people's lives around here and the world because a school of continued work in that field continued and continued and continued. John Bardeen, in many regards, was a very strong believer in the vision that Bill Everett had, that research by itself is not enough. Education of the workforce that will take that research and turn it into successes is what matters as well. Under Everett's leadership, Illinois became one of the top engineering schools in the country. He encouraged engineers to collaborate and push the boundaries of what was traditionally thought to be engineering. Bill Everett was a uh, innovator and a visionary, and he was the one who brought other disciplines into engineering and transform it. Everett's name is a real sound name for a big step up in the history of the University of Illinois and in what blossoms. What Bill Everett started here was a culture that very quickly was adopted by other engineering schools around the country and the world. Many of the innovations that Everett encouraged at Illinois took place in the new electrical engineering building that was opened in 1948. Here, Bardeen taught his first class on semiconductors that inspired a young Nick Holoniak. William Fry and Floyd Dunn lectured on their pioneering research on ultrasound. In the first of its kind fab lab, students learned to make integrated circuits, and it helped launch the careers of leaders at Intel and Texas Instruments. All of it was motivated by Dean Everett's philosophy. Nothing is impossible as long as you put your heart and mind to them. You're working for the world. Not, you're not working for just yourself. In 1988, Illinois honored the late Dean Everett by naming the Electrical Engineering Building in his honor. Today, the newly renovated Everett Lab is the home of the Bioengineering Department and the Jump Simulation Center, a state-of-the-art training facility for students in the new engineering-based Carl Illinois College of Medicine. This building has a long history of innovation and revolution in engineering. We want the Carl Illinois College of Medicine to follow those legendary footsteps and help in revolutionizing healthcare education and healthcare delivery. We never considered changing the name of Everett Lab. Having one of our buildings named for him is something that I believe will, will define the fact that the University of Illinois is a place where we incubate innovation, we incubate progress, and uh, that's who we are. Without learning, we're not going anywhere. We're not even going to exist. If you've got a good group of people and their thoughts lead them to ways to solving problems, it's inevitable it's going to happen. But is it going to happen here or where? Everett's mark is on that. 